first at 10 opinion polls show the public remains skeptical about the new health care act. The president signed the historic bill into law today, surrounded by Americans who lost battles with insurance companies and lawmakers who fought for reform. The president says some changes will happen quickly. This year, tens of thousands of uninsured Americans with pre-existing conditions, the parents of children who have a pre-existing condition, will finally be able to purchase the coverage they need. The sweeping overhaul and what it means for you in tonight's In-Depth. The Night Team's David Douglas has more. David? Yeah, Andy, with the government ready to pay for more people's health care, they're taking a good, hard look at Americans' health and how to make it better, which means changes for you when you dine out. With a flip of the wrist, skillet sizzle, cooking pasta dishes to perfection at Noodles & Company. Our menu is very simple, but there's hundreds of different combinations that you can make with our menu. Combinations Noodles now has to count the calories in, and as required by the new Health Care Reform Act, post that info right on the menu. It's a rule that applies to any American restaurant with more than 20 locations. I think now that the government's involved in health care, it's also their imperative to be aware of our health as much as it is our own imperative. Diners think the idea is a good one. The more information the consumer has, the better they are, the more informed their decision is going to be. And dietitians hope this small step can make a big change. I think people are going to start asking more questions when they see the calories. Well, how much protein is in there? Knowledge for a healthier America. And since we live on the go, those already cluttered drive through menu boards must comply as well. You can take away that salad dressing and decrease those calories and fat and sodium, you know, and choose something else for salad dressing to make it better. The rule also applies to vending machines. If the nutrition facts on the back of the package aren't visible from the outside of the machine. It keeps you aware that something you thought might have 400 calories might have 1,400 calories. A new way to help battle the bulge that isn't necessarily designed to make you feel guilty about what tastes good. I think it'll give people a lot of choice to see, you know, well, you know, I'm going to have this is going to be my main meal today. I can go with that high calorie burger. Restaurants will also have to provide detailed nutrition information if they don't already. You saw Noodles already does there in the story. And as for when this goes into effect, there seems to be a little bit of confusion there, but many restaurants are already saying they plan to voluntarily comply by the end of the year. And it's certainly going to be different to walk into a fast food restaurant and see that right up there on the menu in absolutely. front of you. Absolutely. Now, in certain cases, this could be a good thing for the restaurant businesses. Well, absolutely, because now people might realize there are some things that are good when they thought everything at a restaurant was bad before. You could figure out that maybe that hamburger is actually better for you in some cases than a salad, which is true. We talked to Marianne today, and she said that's absolutely the case. So it's really good to look at these things. Numbers we don't want to see, but perhaps we need to see. David Douglas That's reporting. exactly right. Thank you very much, David.